almost all research indicates that the parent-child relationship is critical to the development of secure, well-behaved children. It's the caregiver's responsibility to direct children toward appropriate behavior and away from dangerous and harmful situations. Parents also help their children develop self-esteem. Researchers have identified three distinct parenting styles in the average North American community. Bye -bye. Thank you. Bye -bye. The most effective style is authoritative parenting, which is you know, demonstrating that you know something, but really working with the young people, being supportive, loving, um, being firm when that's needed, um, but not being controlling. Authoritarian parenting is the controlling parent who has the rules, doesn't want to listen to the kid, um, and that can be very damaging, either producing a child that then doesn't do anything because they're afraid they're going to do something wrong and that they'll, their parents will punish them for it, or they'll get a very rebellious child who just is angry and is, is going to show their parent. Um, Laissez-faire parenting is another style where if you sort of let them go and do their thing, that also isn't good because young people do need guidance. They do need firm limits. They need to be able to have new experiences, but at a rate that they can handle. As well as the individual child's temperament, the surrounding environment may also dictate which parenting style is most appropriate. For instance, F.A. parents in Africa might not have the same concerns as the typical North American parent. It was a very interesting experience. I was taking, collecting data, it was nighttime data, and I had to stay with the child until the child fell asleep. There was a little three-year-old walking past me. We were in a, in, a, in a field, and I looked at her, and I looked at the woman who was helping me, and I went to the camp, and I said to the woman's mom, I just saw your daughter, where is she going? The sun is setting, and she said, oh, well, she decided she wanted to sleep with her aunt tonight, so I just said that was fine, and she was off to her aunt's camp, and parents feel very comfortable allowing children to do that. Early in the play years, as they're becoming more self-aware, children begin to comprehend the differences between the sexes. Are you a boy or a girl? A boy. Of course you're a boy. Gwendolyn, are you a boy or a girl? A girl. A girl? And when... And he's a boy. And he's a boy. You're not a boy. I'm not a boy. What am I? Yeah. A girl. You're right. When you grow up, are you going to be a mommy or a daddy? If you want to be. Despite the efforts of some adults to de-emphasize gender differences, children soon develop some very stereotypical ideas. Could a boy be a nurse if you want to be? No. No? Why is that? Because nurses are for girls and doctors are for boys. How come you can't be a nurse when you grow up? Because girls are nurses and boys are doctors. Okay. Can a boy be a nurse when he grows up? <laughs> the play years are all about enjoying yourself. But underneath what looks like simple fun and games is in fact very complex. And there are many different types of play. When children toy with their food, dance around or smell flowers, they're engaging in sensory motor play, which involves the pleasure of using the senses. Oh, isn't that pretty? While most of the repetitive activity you see at your local playground is probably mastery play, where children practice a specific skill like jumping or singing. Sociodramatic play involves acting out and role playing. All of a sudden, youngsters turn into mothers, fathers, firemen, and chefs. And play evolves. In younger children, it's much simpler. 
Two and three-year-olds might play side by side, but not really with each other, a style known as parallel play. Gender also influences play. Boys like rough and tumble games that involve gender-specific toys, like trucks and swords. No, put that down if you want to play. As they grow older, boys will gravitate toward team sports. Girls usually play together in games that require communication and cooperation. The complex interactions children are engaging in by the end of the play years will help prepare them for the next stage of the journey through childhood. <laughs>